long ago in a garden, people were thinking, thinking about cacti. They were thinking about black and white. They were thinking about turning into colour. They were thinking about Wisteria Lane and streets that lead all kinds of places and how those streets are made, how those roads, how those streets appear in our lives. The things that happen behind the scenes, perhaps our minds are backstage somewhere thinking up some plastic from the mud, trying to lay a line for someone perhaps to talk along or to send something along and then out of the darkness gradually the idea appeared to dig to perhaps dig a bit deeper than usual and so we did we dug and then the digger lifted up into the air and disappeared and left behind all these rose prunings and a rainbow and a cottage in the country an old station wagon so we drove to the end of the rainbow and there was sky change color and the rainbow stayed and there we met these two strange women who were talking and they cast a spell for us especially for us and through thinking about where we used to live and the blurriness of that and the berries and greatness of pregnancy and how buildings can be wrapped in green and how if we just reach up we may be blind but we can still find something we really really want perhaps something we need perhaps some fun maybe perhaps a fright perhaps something a bit kind of kitty and cute and perhaps a bit too cute and then the beauty of the carousel the old carousel the idea of going round and round and just enjoying that Perhaps that's what commerce is. Perhaps toys teach us more than we know. And then in a park somewhere, one day we're wandering around and we find something that looks like a creature. Is it a creature or is it just shelter from the sun? And who makes these things for us? And what happens when you speak into somewhere and find some memory of a dress a child used to wear 50 years ago or more? And the way chul goes after time, after washes and certificates. And how dressing up in your cousin's clothes can perhaps make you think about what it was like to be her. And how the colour purple has so many meanings. And sometimes it's in a garden. Sometimes it's in my garden. And these relatives of the geranium weren't flowering the day that we started Art's birthday. Miles McCain and I, Raywin Alexander, we were getting ready the night before. We wrote up the menu on the wall. We put up the exhibition. We put up a poster from France from their Art's birthday and we got a few things together outside. Art arrived in the form of an old red trolley that had lost its wheels and we chalked the name Art inside and took photographs the next day as well put up a sign at the front gate so people could walk along past the white rabbit and past the sign from the red queen to, <laughs> to repaint the tea house immediately red and around the corner to the sheltered area of the tea house and they could go inside and see the balloons in there and the exhibition in there and also outside sit at the long table where the Mad Hatter's tea party commenced eventually. I made tea and in, in the tea house there was Van Gogh lemon balm. There were borage flowers for the clockwork orange. And we waited for people to arrive.
various people read poetry and many people chatted and got to know each other and all the while uh, I was rushing around getting people rushing around getting people this and that getting them whatnot getting them Picasso's desire chocolate cake Dali's determination of a dream after drinking to the health of a lobster vegan peach cake with cinnamon and soy berry yogurt Van Gogh lemon balm tea Tretchikoff spice tea with Redbush tea with spice <laughs> and Sergeant Pepper's tea which is English number one tea we also had some poetry bites dedicated to Robert Filiu who decided when Art's birthday happened which is the 17th of January of course and they were muffins with one poetry um, with poetry around them one line poetry uh, around them later Miles discovered this game and he asked people to write one line starting with if and one line starting with then and together we created a poem that I wrote down and I'm about to read it if I lose another afternoon one shoe and an umbrella if hens had teeth then between us we'd make better our fourth and going then ponds will be filled then birdsong will make its way through then the piano was tuned and the serenade was upon us if i were a field of corn trampled by elephants if the suckling pig is brought to the table if motorways were for pedestrians then i'd probably make all the same mistakes then we will also drink at lunch then i wouldn't have met with that bastard who ruined my life if only I hadn't worn my purple hat, if end of day birds changed cars to run on chirrups, if you weren't late, our discussions would be advancing to competition. Then a broom swept into town, then they breasted the hill and a vista opened up and was awe-inspiring, then ice formed on the snowy path and they called it black ice. If only life had been different, then art would be born. If I was young again, and that's the poem that we created together. Together. We wrote that together. Then through Greylin we drove away, away from the Happy Tea House, and we met Marilyn Monroe with a mukul, and she told us that something else was being planned somewhere else, another myth another legend to live in a house nearby with the moon in the garden and a star on the letterbox and so it was that we kept going on our journey after Art's birthday as we do as we go and the trees always the trees <laughs>